Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences in Stockholm. The Nobel Committee announced the second of this year's awards, the Nobel Prize in Physics. Awarded to three researchers at California University, Frenchman Michel Devoré, American John Martinis and John Clark from the UK. I practically collapsed. <laughs> no, I was completely stunned. I, I, I mean, it's something that I had never, ever dreamed of in my entire life. Stunned because the trio were handed science's most prestigious prize for work they completed 40 years ago. In the words of the Nobel Committee, the discovery of macroscopic quantum mechanical tunneling and energy quantization in an electrical circuit. Or, in other words, a series of experiments in the 1980s that demonstrated that bizarre properties of the quantum world can translate into measurable effects in superconducting electrical circuits in the real world, known as quantum tunneling. It really showed that quantum mechanics just wasn't some phenomenon on how atoms work but it's actually very general, and how really any system under the right conditions can see that. So that was kind of showing quantum mechanics at a wider application class than we had thought. The implications of their work have been profound and far-reaching. Quantum tunneling has enabled the ultra-sensitive measurements achieved by MRI machines and has laid the groundwork for better mobile phones and faster computers in the future.